Hello and welcome again. Well, when, when we are talking about BFSense, we are not talking about just piece of software. It's a company. It's a really uh, awesome company. Uh, they provide a lot of services, uh, a lot of features. Uh, they support. Uh, they have support contract. They have training. You you can go to uh, the. You can see they have <laughs> college or uh, BF Sense University because BF Sense uh, it's more than firewall, more than router, more than uh, just uh, uh, software. Uh, uh, really, the, the, there is a lot to learn about BF Sense because uh, not it's so complex. No, I will say it ha uh, he has a lot of features. Yeah. So if we s go to the products uh, section, you can see that uh, those are the uh, you you have a lot of uh, products. Uh, uh, you have uh, like high-end uh, route uh, uh, what we say uh, routers or firewalls uh, so you can you can uh, you can see that uh, they, they there is a lot of uh, things but the most important thing is uh, I think what's uh, They have like uh, incident with with everything you buy from PF Sense, they, you can get two incidents, which is like support, but is like uh, gift with your uh, uh, with your product. So the first thing you should do go to the download li download link as a professional man, and you know what are you doing, and go to the install section, and you provide your uh, email just to to be uh, uh, up to date with everything in the PF Sense world because it's a firewall router and you can also use it as a switch it's uh, it's fully fine and uh, now uh, we need to download which type of download we'll download this and we will of course we will take CD and uh, you can go to the mirrors but you can also uh, click one of those and you have checksum uh, md5 sum and sha uh, 256 now after we get because I get it it's live right here and you can see uh, first thing you you should see that I'm sorry um, you can see it's uh, GZ uh, if you are from uh, the command line wall just uh, G and Z and uh, PF sense uh, it will be if star just uh, uh, yeah, just pass the uh, sorry okay let's go uh, let's CD to the downloads and if you from tar just say extract the, the file for both and Person six dot uh, uh, okay, but we have one already. Uh, so this is this uh, this is the command or on zip. Oh, sorry, g uh, g on zip. Uh, that's it. Okay, so it's not uh, rocket science or something. Uh, now. After we get the BF Sense, you should get uh, if we have old BC, that's perfectly fine. You don't need uh, anything. You just need uh, uh, for this series just like uh, old BC with uh, more than one gigahertz, uh, thousand megahertz uh, processing, uh, and you need uh, like 500 meg or one gig of RAM. That's it, and uh, you should. Uh, uh, Burn this uh, CD image and put it in your uh, CD-ROM drive, and everything will be fine, hundred percent. Now let's go to the uh, let's go to uh, virtual box. This virtual box you can get virtual box 
for your virtualization or if you are uh, familiar with uh, uh, VMware <coughs> sorry uh, with VMware you can also go uh, and uh, <coughs> take uh, uh, VMware uh, VMware player you can search for uh, uh, VMware player it's a free VMware workstation VMware player and you can make a download now after we get virtual uh, virtual station or virtual server you can fire it up and let's delete this let's say remove delete all files and start new installation of BF sense now let's say BF sense it's free BST 23 and just push it a little bit or if you like me <laughs> you like to be just as uh, the machine dynamically dynamically allocated fine uh, just make it six it will not hurt you because it's dynamically allocated and then that's it uh, just go here and uh, we don't need floppy fine don't need display it's black screen and go here and choose pf sense choose virtual and choose your extracted image and uh, you don't need audio anyway but it's okay if you like to keep it there <laughs> because uh, uh, I will tell you uh, after this uh, in the next series when when we connect to this uh, machine you can um, uh, have uh, like some uh, some uh, attention but uh, it's okay so now we have uh, you need at least two which is one for public interface the second one for the LAN and uh, the third one maybe you have DMZ you can you can add as much as you want uh, interfaces uh, four of them so that's perfectly fine so we don't need right now or okay let's uh, let's make them because we will need them later now how how to add and how this thing work let's just take uh, five or three minutes about uh, making uh, making networks uh, you can see this is the NAT network which will connect your firewall uh, to the internet without any uh, let's see ob obstacles uh, obstacles sorry uh, now we have uh, host only uh, networks you have uh, three networks the first one uh, from uh, the virtual box configuration you will see that uh, DHCP server already uh, working so you can make a copy we will need it uh, later uh, and uh, you have the other one you see that uh, this is not enabled uh, and this not enabled by default so you can see we can add more that's fine you can add more than one NAT network if you like to uh, say well we are connected to two networks you can add two and uh, imagine that this is uh, service provider one service provider two and so on uh, now we are perfectly fine we can start our machine as you can see uh, now uh, we'll have PF sense let's say enter and it's booting now all the image as overall image is less than 100 megabit uh, so uh, it's, uh, that's uh, cool now we have recovery mode uh, we don't need recovery mode we can enter the installer from here or we can go to uh, 
to the putting after we put we can go to the installer uh, by hitting 99 which is 99 uh, you can uh, from there you can just press I but we will go and we'll see what uh, we have now you can see that uh, this is the normal uh, result you will get because this is the one and he will since if there is a DHCP server on the one on your one interface uh, and he get uh, the DHCP address but in the LAN it will not uh, uh, work uh, we will go uh, in this step now we will hit 99 or as previous we can hit I now <coughs> excuse me and uh, now uh, we will accept this setting because we don't need uh, anything from from here quick and easy yes install okay that's it we are installing now pfSense do you see just leave it all changes you know the most important thing you will learn in the Linux uh, or GNU Linux and the uh, Unix world or my first the first thing that I learned in uh, this uh, world is uh, don't configure anything you don't need to configure <laughs> that's that's uh, wisdom uh, so a lot of people start uh, playing with us uh, with uh, this now after we install just standard kernel because we don't need embedded kernel okay standard kernel will be fine and reboot return to the selected task no we will reboot now uh, will not uh, let it boot because it will boot from the CD again and again we'll see now so our installation finished 100 percent but now it will go to the CD now we will just turn off okay now come back to your machine and let's push out our cd room and ok and we'll start again now we don't have cd we are uh, we are working with uh, the pfsense real box and you can see that EM1, EM0 uh, is defined, which is our interfaces. Now, first thing, we need to assign interfaces. Uh, you can assign as much interfaces you have. So we have four interfaces. Uh, you see now we have EM0 which is the one EM1 which is the LAN now uh, our LAN is not uh, as uh, we have here so we will press 2 and we will go and we will press 2 because we, we, we want to configure the LAN now uh, we should type our LAN IP address and we will Provide 160 or oh, let's say 170. Now 24. Now no, we don't need. We don't. Yeah, no. Uh, yes. Now this IB uh, IB version four. We work with uh, the IB version uh, IB version six. We work with IB version four, so we don't need IB version six. Uh, do we need upstream gateway address uh, for the for a, uh, a LAN? No, we we will not uh, configure this because uh, we will uh, all our traffic will go to the one to one gateway which is the one. Now, uh, do you, do you want to revert to HTTP as web configurator? Do you want to configure your PFSense from the web? Yes. yes okay you can see now we can go 
here. Uh, and we can type oops I am sorry do you know what happened what happened is uh, now we have virtual box we have uh, our uh, virtual machines and we have here uh, this IP address and we have this range of IPs so this will be our PC uh, which is uh, 192.168.56 so let's say 2 to assign 2 and 2 and we will go 192.168.56.2 uh 150 24 we don't uh, have we don't need to have a gateway for the lan and now uh, lan ib version 6 we don't need do you know yeah no no we don't because we have uh okay now we should go here and make paste and uh, 150 that's nice and of course we have admin bf sense okay next yes now what's the name of your bf sense let's say firewall and uh, invalid host name oh sorry this is not invalid host name oh invalid host name okay let's make it like this oops what's wrong okay I'm sorry pf sense <laughs> oops invalid host name ah yeah that's fine okay we have sense local domain which is uh, let's say lab or one hour networking dot lab okay dns server now our dns server can be anything but uh, let's say Mm, we have uh, DNS server internal so 225 secondary will be secondary DNS server mm, or you can put it like uh, 4 the 2 the 2 the 2 which is 4 the 2 the 2 dot 3 override DNS now what is override DNS gives you uh, gives you that if uh, if you get like DHCP service from uh, ISP and they have uh, they have uh, they have DNS server they will provide you with the IP address of DNS servers so they will change those to their DNS servers but if you don't need this you can check this anyways now uh, this is the time uh, server uh, we have uh, time server and you choose where uh, your uh, specific uh, area of the world which is Asia Amman Amman in Jordan uh, now we should move forward and uh, this is now for the one I, I you can choose to uh, make static if you have a public IP address but we have in the lab but I will show you uh, later in later how we can make it uh, static now do you uh, now uh, this is uh, or this Mac address thing related to some ISPs if you if you get like people OE or uh, let's say static uh, 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 
Typically, it's just CP or PPoE, which is PP point to point protocol over Ethernet. Uh, so you can make uh, like uh, with they uh, they like uh, tell you that we have this specific MAC address related to your phone, which is more privacy. So you can uh, say this is zero zero one one and so on. Uh, MTU uh, for the fast ethernet you can um, 150 will be fine uh, and uh, static IP configuration but we are not using static it's DHCP and uh, host name DHCP host name if uh, uh, if you need or uh, your ISP insists in using DHCP host name and PPOE and these uh, things related to dial up dial on demand and uh, username password services and so on and now uh, if you are point to point tunneling protocol uh, related to your one you can configure it from here so point to point tunneling protocol works in layer two so if we have uh, in another state of our country uh, another uh, site for our company you can uh, configure point to point tunneling protocol which is i think it's now not secure that much or it's not secure at all uh, and now uh, do you want to block private networks from uh, uh, your one which is uh, highly recommended but because we are all now inside uh, our home my home work with the private uh, ib address uh, so we will uncheck that but uh, if you are working in a uh, company, you will check it. Okay, thank you. Now this is the last thing, which is the uh, LAN interface. And uh, we configure it from uh, the command line or from here. And we will tick next and admin password. If you click next, it will stay uh, uh, PFSense. Now one, two, three, one, two, three will be fine one two three one two three and we will go next nope uh, but I recommend using uh, so complex and so hard to guess uh, uh, password we can now click uh, we can now click uh, here to provide some uh, help or uh, some contribution and uh, to the to this nice and pretty work uh, really they provide it for uh, for uh, for free just to protect uh, uh, users and protect small company and small organization or charity organization so they can uh, w they can uh, let's say uh, save some money for them we will continue to the bfsense uh, bfsense web configurator and this is our screen our lovely screen now we are in the latest uh, latest version uh, latest version and uh, we have this uh, all information you will see it uh, after you uh, go here now uh, where is the user manager first thing and most important thing is you should change this to something uh, other than the uh, we change the password but it's so uh, small uh, so uh, let's say unsecure password one two three one two three is the first thing that the hacker or uh, sorry not the hacker hacker are good crackers are bad uh, not one two three one two three you can say uh, don't tell my mom about it which is that's perfect fine because that's so important if you tell your mom your mom will tell your neighbor your neighbor will tell their neighbors so you're you're a big risk big risk <laughs> now uh authorized key you can see here we can provide now wh what's authorized key uh, let's go to the services 
you can go and uh, configure it from the command line if you like to to do that and you see now we have attention somebody uh, is uh, connected to our uh, uh, machine there is two way to to uh, to run this services and you can go to mm, general setup and I think it's here nope okay setup wizard user manager settings nope <laughs> I forget where what is this thing? Mm. Where? Where? Secure shell. Status. Okay, okay. We will configure it this time from here, and we will move. Uh, to uh, to the web configurator uh, another time now to enable secure shell just press 14 which is this option and do you want to enable it yes that's it that's everything you need now to connect to this web configurator just to say ssh uh, root at 192.168.56.150 which is our pfSense oh sorry yeah are you sure okay because uh, yes uh, 123 123 and you are the root of the system or of the administrator now uh, we need uh, to uh, to do something else we can uh, make a, like uh, if we say zero it will log out you can configure everything like you are uh, in front of your machine so uh, this is everything you need to learn about how to make initial configuration for BFSense. But before I finish this video, we can say SSH. And you can find that we have SSH copy ID. And copy ID, if we say help, you can see that we, we have identity file. And you can say, let's say, I and dot ssh uh, sorry dot dot because i am inside the downloads so we will move upper up level and then ssh and you can see what this you need id rsa dot what dot public id dot public to what to which uh, to which uh, server now root at 192.168.56 so we have this command to copy this as identity file uh, this is the uh, server or this is the firewall and say enter 123.123 one added now if we say SSH mm, the password to unlock the private key automatically unlock this anyway oh this is uh, related to my PC so automatically uh, okay okay let's change this uh, and we will attempt failure to to this now just uh, everything goes fine but uh, uh, open to as a distribution provide you should unlock the ssh key uh, identity and that's it that's everything you need uh, thank you for listening have a nice time